you guys again tonight. I hope you guys happy and ready to learn with me tonight, all right? And then hopefully uh, full, huh? Already ate your dinner. So you have more energy and power and more focus, all right, guys? Great, Mr. Amin is ready. Excellent. I like that energy. All right, guys. Allow me to share first. All right, this is our conversation for this week. We are still continuing with chapter three. Okay, let me see this. Okay, chapter three is how we have a conversation on the phone. As you guys already learned this couple weeks, so there is some things that uh, a little bit different when talking on the phone. Okay. All right. Now let's do the role play. Okay. Excellent. I see Brandon here. Okay. Okay. Didn't see you last week, Brandon. Okay. Nice to have you back. Okay. So I'll have Brandon do nancy okay and then malita you are doing lisa number uh or hold on brandon doing nancy number one and number two malita is doing lisa number one and number two okay and then mr amin you are doing uh karen number one and number two Jennifer will do Lisa number three, four, five. Three, four, five for Jennifer. And then Karen. Karen's number three, four, five for Nani. And then Lisa's number six, seven, eight for Miss Lily, and then Karen's number six, seven, eight. Karen six, seven, eight. For Fanny, and then Lisa's, okay, Let's see who else there. Okay. Well, while we're waiting on the other volunteer to do the role play, let's do this first page first. Okay. Allow me to unmute you guys. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, Brandon. It's nice to have you back. Yes, Miss. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, how are you? Good evening. Miss. How about you, Miss? Excellent. Thank you, Nalita. Thank you, Miss. Okay. Good evening, Miss. Good evening, Good Miss. Good evening, Lily. Miss Susan. How's it going? Oh, oh, not Good yet. Good evening, I'm Miss. Going. Good evening, Miss Fanny. Let's see, let's see. Oh, Jennifer. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Good evening, James. Uh... How's it going, guys? Okay, I'm anyway, fine, for uh, Miss Sunarti, I'll give you the, uh, the following uh, page, all right? So we'll do a first date right now so i'm going to unmute you for right now okay after we finish with the first page i'll go to you okay there you go let's see all right guys 
Somebody's dog would like to join us. Okay. All right, guys. You guys can start whenever you're ready. Okay, miss. Thank you for calling Sports Center. May I help you? I bought an exercise bike from your store last year, and I I am having problems with it. I I need to have it repaired. Let me connect you to the service department. One moment, please. Service department. This is Karen. How can I help you? I bought an exercise bike from Spot Center last year, and it needs to be repaired. What seems to be the problem? Oh, I'm not very sure, but I think there is the problem with the bike's computer co computer console because the LCD screen doesn't dis does 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 not display the dis the different features. Nothing, nothing was on when you press the start button. No, nothing. What is your bike model? It is a one hundred. One to six upright fourth bike. I can send a tension of to take a look at your bike. I will cost seventy five dollars for others. Also, if we have to replace any parts, that will be extra. That is expensive. Isn't the repair cost covered by warranty? When exactly did you purchase your bike? About 15 months ago. I'm sorry. The standard warranty only covers a year. Did you buy extra warranty covers at the time of purchase? No, I did not. Are there any other options? Besides paying $75 for repair labor? No, I'm afraid not. Okay, let's continue with the following page. Okay, Lisa's. I have Lisa's 9, 10, and 11 for Miss Marty. Okay, and then Karen. Karen's dialect number 9 and 10 for Miss Fu Chunjung. And then I have uh, Lisa's number 12, 13, and 14 for Lynn. Karen's number 12, 13, 14. 12, Karen's 12, 13, 14 for Linda. And then I'll have Lisa's. Lisa's 15, 16, 17 for Uni. This until 17, okay. And then I'll have Karen's 15, Karen's daughter number 15, 16, 17. Karen's, Karen's uh, 15, 16, 17, 18. Four, all right, one more guys. Last dialogue. Anybody interested? Otherwise, I'll go back to the top. Okay, era, I got you. Okay, perfect. All right, allow me to unmute you guys so we can practice together. Hello, Miss Susan. Good evening, Linda. How's it going? 
Uh, going fine. Miss yes. uh, Linda is 12, 12, 13, 14, right? Karen's number 12, 13, 14. Oh, okay, so thank you. 12, in this of 12, okay? Okay. 12. 12. There you go. Perfect. Hold on. Allow me to unmute you guys. Give me a second. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. How are you doing? Good. Thank you, Miss. Excellent. Nice to hear that. Right, there you go. Okay, this is where we are going to start. All right, from Lisa's, dialect number nine, and so on. All right, Miss Sumarti. We, we start now? Yeah. Yes, please. I guess, I guess I just have to pay for the repair. When can you send a technician? Miss Fu Chung Chung. Yes. Miss Chung Chung. Miss Fu Chung Chung, are you there? Yes, Miss. Oh, okay. Good. It's your turn. Karen's number nine, ten. I. Yes. Okay. I have next Tuesday number. I have next Tuesday, November the twenty third at two p.m. available. Otherwise, the next date has to be December the eighth at ten a.m. Smarty. I take this more. I take this coming Thursday. Will you send out a remember? Somebody will give you a call the evening before the confirm the appointment. Will the technician accept credit card payment? Lynn. Good evening, Miss. Uh, good evening, Lynn. Go ahead. Uh, you are doing Lisa 12, 13, 14. From 12. Uh, Lisa's dialect number 12, 13, and 14. Okay. How much does it cost? $50 for one year warranty. $75 for two years. And a hundred dollars for three years. Does it cover about what labor and materials? It covers everything. Do you want to sign up for it? Oh, I don't know. It will be good for you. We will send a technician anytime the bike needs services. It doesn't, it does not matter how many times you call us in a year. Also, if we cannot fix the problem, we will provide you with a new exercise bike. Okay, I want to sign up for the two-year warranty program. Parents, 15. Fe era. I think it, it is a good investment. Are you going to Pay by credit card now, or do you want me to send you a bill? Send me a bill, please. One last thing before I let you go. I need your address, please. 995 Silver Lake Street in Long Beach. Okay, it is all set. Is there anything else I can help with you with today? No, thank you for your help. You are welcome. Okay. Have a nice day. All right, guys. Well done. Okay, one sec. Okay, let's pull it up from the first 
page. Let's do a little review here. Okay. I have Karen's number five. Okay. Now remember, okay, this is, uh, I heard it. Okay, it says it will cost. Okay, it will cost. Instead of I, okay, I heard it was I will cost. Okay. Hopefully I misheard it, but it's, so it says it here, right? Now, and then Karen's number seven. Karen starting number seven. Coverage. Okay, remember, this is right here. The standard warranty only covers here. This is covers. Okay, let me highlight it so you guys can see the different maybe, huh? One second. Okay, this right here, covers. That's a verb, all right? And then here, coverage. It's a noun, okay? Jadi covers, di sini adalah kata kerja, ya. Kemudian di sini, coverage adalah kata benda, okay? So coverage is the noun of cover, okay? But remember, when you pronounce it, it's a little bit different towards the end, okay? Covers, coverage, okay? Different. Okay. All right. So and then next I'll have Karen's dialect number nine. All right. I have next Thursday. All right. I heard it was Tuesday. This is Thursday. Okay. Okay. Just probably uh rushing. <laughs> Okay, that's Thursday, right? And then I'll have Lisa's number 10. Lisa's number 10, there you go, okay. Will you send me out a reminder? Reminder instead of remember, okay? Reminder here is a noun. Remember is a verb, all right? So reminder, uh, apakah ak as, uh, akan ada reminder itu a a pengingat begitu? Okay, ada yang uh, ada yang apakah ada yang apakah ada akan akan ada yang mengingatkan? Okay, will you send out a reminder? Okay. Okay, yang mengingatkan ya. Alright. That's it. Pretty good, guys. Okay. Well done, you guys. Okay. That's all that you guys missed. Okay. So, let's continue what we left out yesterday. I mean, last week. Okay, so last week we were doing the grammars, the grammar review. Okay, so let me share another, this one. All right, there you go, guys. So last week we are do we were doing the exercise here and then answering this okay this is exercise number two i believe yes almost finished exercise number two okay let's continue with that number six blah 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 speak mandarin blah 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 speak mandarin I'll have JJ. Yes, Miss. Will you try number six? Yes. Go ahead. 
bla 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 speak Mandarin. 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 Yeah. Bla bla speak Mandarin. Jen's children speak Mandarin. I think the answer is B, Miss. B, yes. All right. I have the same idea with you also. But B and C, uh, same look like, Miss. Oh, yes. Huh? B and C, huh? Yeah. All right. So I guess our answer will be B and C today, huh? Okay. Yes. Good catch, JJ. Thank you. You're welcome, Miss. All right. So Jane's children speak Mandarin means anak-anak anak-anak dari Jane bisa berbicara Mandarin. Okay. Jane's children. Okay. Children here is plural. Okay. Children is a plural and then belongs to Jane. Children of Jane. All right. Very good. Number seven. Blah 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 are in the classroom. Blah 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 are in the classroom. Let's have Radia. All right. There you go. All right, Radia. Maybe you have the internet connection problem, huh? Uh, not clear, okay? The voice is not Hello. Clear. Yeah, there you go, better. There you go. Let's try. Here. Number seven, seven, right? Number seven. Um, my Number. glasses. The answer is C. My glasses are in the classroom. All right, A, B, C. Which which uh alphabet? A, B, C. Are you here, Radia? Can you hear me? All right. So, Radia answer was. My glasses are in the classroom. Okay, so my glasses are in the classroom. That's a C, huh? Okay, now the difference is between the B and C. Now, the B use apostrophe. When you use the plural, the glasses is plural, right? And then you add the apostrophe means that is the be something the ownership of the glasses so it's not so here we just explaining that my glasses are in the classroom kacamata saya ada di kelas okay so now the glasses is always is gonna be always plural okay because remember when you uh, the, we have the glasses contains of one glasses okay uh, one when you have a glasses always contains of two lenses that's why the glasses there is no never you know you don't say glass glass like that when you say glass there's a cup like that when you is talking about kacamata then that's going to be glasses always plural all right there you go now number eight it's famous for blah 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 music mm. all right there you go let's see who oh, didn't get their turn yet all right since everybody already got their turn let's go back to the top Number eight. Let's do it, Nalita. Miss Miss. All right, Nalita. It's famous for its music. C. All right. It. Okay. Now the difference is. Look at this. Now it's here. 
it's on the front it's famous is the the abbreviation of it is okay now yeah. it is famous for it yes number c now it's here is the be a uh, pronoun for it okay like she is gonna be the uh for she for she we're gonna have her right yes. and then for it is gonna be it okay. all right very good nalita thank you miss you're welcome okay number nine they sell blah 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 clothes Oh, okay, number eight, the translation, it's, it's famous for its music. Um, itu terkenal dengan musiknya. Okay, maybe a something, a place, okay. Tempat itu terkenal musiknya. Okay, number nine, let's have Nani. They sell blah blah clothes 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 no clothes 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 ah there you go you got it our answer is they sell girls clothes a, B, C. A. A? Yes. A as an apple. Okay. Now, look at this. Now, we're talking about belonging, right? Now, girl. Now, this is, look at this, A, B, C. They're talking about uh, a plural, plural of girl. All right. So, when we have plurals, belonging okay let's go back to the explanation there you go look at this okay that's irregular let's see irregular give me one sec all right there you go all right nani let's pay attention to this okay now that girls is a in that sentence question we have a plural right we have a plural of girl okay dalam pertanyaan tersebut ada kata girls okay girls itu uh, bentuk plural bentuk jamak dari girl right so it's gonna be more than one girl all right look at this if more than one boy same more than one girl okay and then the uh the belonging is more than one ball okay now you're gonna use this only the boys balls all right now since that one is the girls so we just need to put the apostrophe okay so this is for regular Uh, plurals, okay. Jadi untuk bentuk jamak yang uh, yang teratur, yang regular, okay. Jadi uh, kita cuma menambahkan apostrofi aja ya, okay. Nani, can you see this? Yes. Yes, okay. Do you understand any question? Yes. Alright, let's go back to our exercise. Okay, so, 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 number nine, our answer will be? B. A as an apple? A, you say? B, B. All right, remember? B. Now, B, okay, like earlier, earlier was like this, okay, let me write it. Give me one moment. Okay. Oh, there you go. Now, the other one was the boys. Boy, boys is the plural of boy, right? So, so the boys, you just, we just put apostrophe like that. The boys, balls. 
All right. Now, in this sentence here, the boss equivalent to clothes. Clothes itu baju-baju ya. Baju yang jamak ya. Bentuk jamak dari clothes. All right. So, now here, since this is the girl is uh, the plural also. So, we gonna go do girls. Okay. Girls is the plural of girl, right? So we're gonna put apostrophe only without S. Clothes. All right? That's how we do it. Okay. Same thing like this. Okay. Uh, the plurals, okay. A re a regular, we're gonna say um, the. Tables, tables, legs. All right. You see that the different. Okay. Now, uh, the chairs, covers. All right, like that. Okay. Nani, do you see and do you see the different? Yes. Yes, okay. yes. Do you have any question? Mm, no, miss. Okay, so remember, yes, okay, when you yes. have the uh, plurals like that, you just gonna add the apostrophe. Jadi koma yang di atas itu ya, uh, saya lupa bahasa Indonesianya apa ya itu yang apostrophe ya. Jadi kita cuman karena ini bentuk plural, uh, regular plurals, Jadi untuk yang jamak yang yang beraturan itu kata bendanya cuma ditambahkan s ya untuk pluralnya. Nah, karena sudah ditambahkan s, jadi untuk uh, belonging, so for the belonging we just need to put the apostrophe here. Okay, like this. Okay? Like this, guys. Okay, you just need to add that the apostrophe. That's called apostrophe. Okay, look at this. Ah. All right. You don't after apostrophe you don't put s, no double s there. Okay? You got yes. it, Nani? I got it. Okay, yes. so our answer will be number A B C C C. Perfect. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you, Nani. Thank you. All right, let's continue with number 10. My blah 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 name is Melanie. My blah 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 name is Melanie. All right, let's have Miss Lily. My mom's name is Melanie. A. A. All right, very good. So here is the mom's is okay here is using is so obviously you only have one mom so this is singular so that's why we can use the apostrophe s okay since the mom is a uh, singular very good thank you miss lily you're welcome miss very good now let's continue with number eh, okay this is exercise number three huh okay number three Check this out, guys. This, let me see if I have explanation for that. All right. That will be. Okay, this is exercise number three, huh? All right, this, let's see. That car belongs to my friend. Mobil itu. Uh, mobil itu kepunyaan teman saya. Now, we are going to make another sentence that has the same meaning of that. Okay. Now, we have the explanation right here. Okay. Let me pull that out. All right. Now, we can use a possessive instead of a full noun phrase to avoid repeating words. All right. Oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, that's not it. Yeah. 
this one right here. All right, sorry about that, guys. Let's see the air. Now, right here, example, the structure can be used for a whole phrase, okay? Now we have the example here, the man next door's mother, all right? Jadi ibu dari tetangga. Ibu dari tet, uh, tetangga laki-laki itu. Okay. So, it's the same meaning with the mother of the man next door. Right? Same meaning, but like this, like the first sentence, the man next door's mother usually used in a daily conversation, like less formal. Okay, and then the mother of the man next door is like more formal like that. Okay, now number two, the example is the queens of England's poodles. Now we're gonna if since we're gonna use of, we're gonna start off with the nouns. Okay, the poodles of the queen of England. Okay, poodles is the 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 race of the dogs okay poodle kepunyaan ratu inggris okay okay so that's the example there let's do it let's try the exercise <coughs> excuse me okay the cars eh, the car belongs to my friend okay mobil kepunyaan teman saya now you write it it's my uh, actually okay sorry about that guys this is not about uh off there well uh okay okay now see uh, this is not using the off okay the it's all right so let me just give you an example then okay one second change this see it it's my friend's car okay also we can use the off like that with this okay the car of my friend okay there you go so when it when you use it it's gonna start with the subject who's the person and then use the apostrophe s with the noun if you use the of it's gonna start off with the noun the things and then followed by the subject okay the pronoun okay all right so the car belongs to my friend mobil itu kepunyaan teman saya it's the same meaning with it's my friend's car ini uh, ini adalah uh, my friend's car uh, ini adalah mobil kepunya ini adalah mobil kepunyaan teman saya all right, same meaning, guys, okay? Well, let's try this. Now I have Miss Fanny. Let's try number two. Yes, Miss. That's the house where my friends live. That's the house where my friend live. It's... It's my friend house. Okay. It's my, okay. That's the house where my friends live. Not the friends here, plural, more than one. Okay. So your answer was, it's my friends. Apostrophe, friends is plural. Okay. We just need to add apostrophe. It's my friend's house. Oke. Okay. Itu adalah rumah di mana teman saya tinggal. It's the same meaning with 
Itu adalah rumah teman saya. How about when we use of? Okay, hold on. Give me one second. Okay. What about if we use uh, uh, of? We're gonna start with the noun. The the house. Yes. The house of my friend. Friends. Remember? Friends. More than one. Yes. All right. Very good. Excellent. All right. Any other question, Miss Fanny? No, Miss. Very good. You have good understanding there. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, number three. The dog belongs to grandpa. Let's have Miss Fu Chun Jung try. Yes, Miss. Okay, number the three. dog belongs to grandpa. It is my grandpa dog. Great. All right. That dog belongs to grandpa. No, <clears throat> the dog here is only one. Singular, right? That's why the blue, the, the verb use as. Now, it's my grandpa's. Mm -hmm. My grandpa's, right? My grandpa's dog. Dog, yes. Okay, hold on. Mm, it's not automatically. How about when we use off? How do we use off? Uh, the dog. Yes. The dog of my of grandpa. Oh yes, this is not my. <laughs> Sorry, no my. The dog of grandpa. Yes, very good. Grandpa. Any question? You have any question? All right, I guess she understands. Very good. All right, thank you. Now, number four. I ask my brother to help me. I ask for my blah, blah, blah. JJ. Okay. Okay, miss. Number four. I, I ask my brother to help me. I ask my brother, apostrophe plus S. Yes. Help me. Ah, remember, okay. When okay, let's write it down first so we can see it. I ask my brothers apostrophe s. That's right, because it's only one brother singular. Now, yes. help to help me. Ah, apostrophe s. Uh, this is belonging. So after the apostrophe s is always noun. Okay. Always now. Look at this. Grandpa's dog, my friend's house, my friend's car, mom's name. Okay. So, saya meminta bantu. adik saya untuk membantu saya. Okay. Uh, saya meminta bantuan adik saya. Okay. The, so, after apostrophe S, you're going to use the uh, noun for sure. Okay, so you don't need to, I ask for my brother's help. That's it. You don't need to use help me, to help me. Okay, that's going to be a verb. Okay, yes. that's it. Yes. Send, uh, I ask for, all right. So, how about if we use of? Are we changing using the word of? The help. Uh-huh of my brother yes the help of my brother so i ask for the help okay the, 
I ask for the help of my brother. Saya meminta bantuan adik saya. Very good. Thank you, JJ. Thank you, Miss. All right, let's continue. Number five for Linda. Our daughter goes to a school just for girls. Our daughter goes to a school just for girls. She goes to a... Uh, Anna Kami. Okay, what is it? Do, she goes to a do, daughter school. Okay. Before we write, uh, okay, let me address it first. Our daughter goes to a school just for girls. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, sorry about that. Okay. Anna Kami, Anna Prompuan Kami, Bersekola. Bis, uh, anak anak perempuan kami bersekolah di sekolah yang khusus untuk untuk anak-anak an, putri saja. Oke. Okay. Okay. Anak perempuan kami bersekolah di sekolah khusus putri. Oke. Okay. So only girls there going to that school. Oke. Okay. Yeah. Now, so she goes to a Girls school. Girls school. Girls, yes. Girls. Girls. How you know? Girls is the plural, right? Yeah. And then so we add only apostrophe. School. school. Yes. Okay. Hold on. Yes. Well, how? What about if we change it to off? Linda, the the start with the noun, the school of girl. Yes, the school of girls. All right, she goes to the school of girls. Okay. Oh, yes. All right. Very good. Any question, Linda? No. Very I'm good. Sad. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Number six. What does your teacher think about your progress? What does your teacher think about your progress? Uh, mm, apa pendapat gurumu tentang kemajuanmu? What's your blah, blah, blah? Let's have Lina ready. Uni. Yes, Miss. All right. Uh, what's your progress? Apostrophe. What's your progress? All right, here. Apa pendapat gurumu tentang kemajuanmu? Okay. What's your? All right. Apa, what's your? Hmm. Oke, okay. apa pendapat gurumu? What's, What's your, your teachers think about your progress? Oke, okay. so we was gonna start with the teacher. Now the teacher here is a singular, so we're gonna use apostrophe as. What's your teachers? Oke, okay. apa pendapat gurumu tentang kemajuanmu? Now, in we're talking about this. What's your teacher now when think here think is a uh okay hold on now think is a verb now when you use think then the the noun of thing because this is the apostrophe s after the Uh, uh, apostrophe s we're gonna use noun now the thing the noun of the thing is thought thought uh, okay like uh hold on uh what's your teacher's thought about your progress okay about 
So like uh, we have the girl school, the grandpa's dog, after the apostrophe S is going to be noun. So since this is, a, we cannot use think, we have to, to change think to a noun. So that's going to be thought, pemikiran dan about your progress. Pemik think is a, uh, uh, Berpikir apa pendapat, okay? So thought is the noun of that thing. All right. You need have any question? Uh, no, Miss. Hmm, okay. Hopefully you understand. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Miss. Now number seven. Oh, anyway, uh, where? Okay. So. This is gonna be this, and then we gotta use the uh, of also. So let me see if uni, uni. I forgot we gotta change that to of. Okay, using <laughs> the word of. Okay, what's okay. your teacher thought? Okay, now the, the thought of the thought. The thought of the your teacher. Your teacher, yes. Watch the thought of your teacher about your progress. Okay, your teacher about your progress. Okay, let me see here. What? So usually the one using of is like more formal, maybe for like uh, any essay like that, then we can use that. What's, uh, what's the thought of your teacher about your progress? There you go. All right. Thank you, Yoni. Thank you, Miss. Okay, let's continue with number seven. Our cat always sleeps on the chair. It's the blah, blah, blah. Let's have Lynn try number seven. Uh, our cat always sleeps on the chair. Yeah. It's the slap chair. Okay, let me translate. Let's translate this. Our cat always sleeps on the chair. Uh, kucing kami selalu tidur di kursi itu. Uh, then it's the same lah. Itu adalah uh, kursi kucing kami. Right? Uh, the cat always sleep on the chair. Kucing itu selalu tidur di atas kursi itu. Itu adalah uh, 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 itu adalah kursi kucing kami. It's the uh, it's the our cat slap chair. Okay. Uh, it's the now because it itu adalah kucing. Eh, no, sorry sorry. Itu adalah kursi dari kucing kami. So it's kursi is it's the chairs, right? It's the chairs. No the the cat only have one chair, okay? Kucing itu hanya mempunyai satu uh, satu kursi ya, because ini tidak ada s ya. So is the chairs? Oh no, our cat. It's the cats. It's the sorry. That's when we use of. Okay, now we're gonna use the apostrophe. So we're gonna start with the pronoun. Okay, who is that? Who who is that? The cat. It's the cats. Chair, right? Itu adalah uh -huh. uh, kursi kepunyaan kucing. That's our. Hold on, hold on. It's the cat's chair. Now, now we can use of. Okay. Start with the noun. The noun is kata bendanya adalah the chair. Chair of uh our cat uh, the chair of our cat okay sleepnya uh, enggak dipakai ya jadi ya miss ya not use the sleep oh the sleep no no you know it okay here 
karena di sini kita menjelaskan uh, tentang kursi kepunyaan kucing itu. Oke, okay. it's okay. so no need to explain any of the uh, sleep. Yes. Alright. Any other question? Yes. No, thank you. Oke, okay, very good. Thank you. Alright, last one. We, we have one minute, oke? Okay? The party was organized by the Smith family. Let's have era. Alright. Uh, pesta itu diadakan oleh keluarga Smith. It was the blah blah blah. Era. Alright. Oke, okay, I'm not able to uh, unmute era. Well, it's eight o'clock. Oke, okay, uh, yes, Miss. Eh, who's that? Nalita. <laughs> Oke, okay. uh, Mr. Tony, uh, please give us like a minute or two to finish this last one, please. Oke, okay, Miss. Oke, okay, thank you, Nalita. Then, alright, Nalita, let's do this. The party was organized by the Smith family. It uh -huh. was the Smith family's party. It was the Smith family's party apostrophe. Smith. Apostrophe? Family. No, no, no. The Smith family apostrophe S. It was the Smith family's party. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was the Smith family's apostrophe S. Party. party. Okay. Party. Mm -hmm. The party of the Smith family. Okay, the party of the party of the Smith family. The Smith family. Very good. Okay, you, good understanding, Nalita. Thank, Thank you. you Very good. All right, there you go. So. That's how we use the of and any so belonging. Um, we can use different way to explain it. Okay, so we're done with exercise three. So next week we can continue with the last exercise for this chapter. Okay, guys. Yes, that's the last exercise. Okay, and then let's see if uh, I can give you guys another a little while uh, a short more exercise next week okay let me see if i can find it all right okay guys it's 802 okay we'll end the class to for today okay i'll see you guys next week okay hopefully you can review on your own thank you, miss. And remember okay thank you guys thank you miss thank you miss bye bye stay healthy bye -bye. guys be safe